Hello everyone, Alter Dragon here, and uh, I'm going to be playing Curse of the Azure Bonds pretty soon, but um, I'm going to take a little detour to a game called Hillsfar. So let's go ahead and uh, load that up. And it's one of those games where you actually have to set, do the settings every time. Um, so Hillsfar, there you see it, is um, basically like a, a side game uh, by SSI and Westwood Studios. Uh, it takes place between Pool of Radiance and Curse of the Azure Bonds, and your characters from Pool of Radiance can be imported in and then exported out to Curse of the Azure Bonds. Um, now, it's very much an action-oriented game. Um, there really aren't a whole lot of uh, um, connections to uh, um, the AD&D rule set, but one of the neat things about it is that when you import a character from Pool of Radiance, it only imports the character. It doesn't import any of the special effects that you have, which has the nice bonus in that if your character was wearing um, Gauntlets of Ogre Power, when uh, um, you know when you uh, uh, import your character into this, your character will from then on permanently have eighteen zero zero strength. Um, if you somehow had a, uh, a, a girdle of giant strength, again, your character would permanently have a higher strength. So, if you have characters that are higher, you know, have, have modified stats at the end of Pool of Radiance, yeah, might as well import them into Hillsfar. You can play a little bit of Hillsfar. Um, now, I believe I have to do something outside the program, so I'm just going to, uh, yeah, see, uh, I need to actually go out and copy Hill, Pool of Radiance to Hillsfar, C, C, yes. One, two, three, four, six. Okay, yeah. Got them all this time. For some reason, I didn't get them last time, but anyway. You can actually transfer directly from Pool of Radiance to Curse of the Azure Bonds. You can uh, uh, transfer directly from Curse of the Azure Bonds to Hillsfar, and you can transfer from Hillsfar to Curse of the Azure Bonds. So, you know, again, if you've got a character in Azure Bonds that has a modified strength, yeah, pop them back in here, send them back out, and then give the Girdle of Giant Strength to someone else. Yeah. Okay, so, um, let us go ahead and quit. Yep. And then let's get back into Hillsfar. And uh, I'm going to, you know, just kind of run around and show you what the, the game is like. Um, it's not fantastic. Um, there are some rather fun aspects to it. Um, it it's, you know, a completely open-ended game. Um, so there isn't like a, you know, a quest or a mission that your characters are on or anything like that. You do not have a party. You... Um, you know, basically, literally, uh, oh shoot. Um, I mean, you're you're just one character. Uh, so let's go ahead and write the current character. Okay. So there, I start up in the uh, um, upper right hand corner with the uh, campfire. And um, there is Hillsfar down uh, um, that city. You see my uh, little icon going towards it. Uh, and there's some other uh, items around, uh, I mean, places that you can go to um, and visit. But uh, let's go ahead and um, so here's let's see. Let's see if I remember my commands. Yes, I do. Oh. So basically, you ride your horse and you have to jump over these uh, obstacles. And uh, um, I'll be perfectly honest, um, this is actually kind of fun. Um, so, you're you currently have 120 hit points. You're at the city of Hillsfar. Do you wish to enter? 
Sure, why not? Okay, so uh, it's been a really long time since I've played um, any of the Bard's Tales, but for some reason this game really reminds me of the Bard's Tales much more than um, the actual Gold Box games. But anyway, <clears throat> you may buy a healing potion for 238 gold. Do you take this offer? Nope. So, basically, uh, I mean, you got the uh, um, uh, 3D view up in the uh, upper corner. A stranger approaches you and says, I have some information that might be useful to you. I will let you have it for 37 gold. Do you take this offer? Sure, why not? The arena is in the northwest part of Hillsfar. Wow, that was a real ripoff there. <laughs> uh, wow. So um, anyway, uh, you can wander around town. Uh, it has a um, much different uh, wall set than any of the um, uh, gold box games had to do. You may buy a knock ring for 236 gold. Do you take this offer? Nope. And if you look in the lower uh, left-hand corner of my screen, I've got the little ring with zero and, and little potion zero. That's knock rings and healing potions. And that is not the arena. Where is the arena? There's the arena. Do you wish to enter? Sure. Okay. Your opponent, lefty, the left-handed orc. Okay, I'm, so I'm basically I'm attacking lefty to left-handed orc, and I have absolutely no idea what the heck I'm doing. Uh, it has been so long since I did this that uh, oh, I can't recall any of the commands. And um, I am not hitting this guy at all. What the heck? I don't know. I don't know what the heck I'm doing. I used to be okay at it. I, I got um, fairly good at the uh, arena, but uh, um, it's been so long. <laughs> I am not attacking. I am not doing any damage on this guy at all. How the heck am I not doing any damage? Wow, I am really pathetic at this. Oh, there we go. There we go. Well, word to the wise. Um, button mashing doesn't work. So. Yeah, what the heck, let's fight again. The Red Minotaur, nobody knows his name. I think there you prob there's probably a key that I can hit during combat to heal, use a heal potion or something, but I don't recall. Eh, what the heck was it? Slater, Lizard Man of the Vast Swamp. Alright, I am not doing well very well against this guy at all. There we go. Almost. Almost got him. I'll, I'll stop after this combat. Yay! Anyway, the game is also not very much like 
the actual Hillsfar. Uh, let's go ahead and enter this building. Okay, so this is one of the other things that you can do. Run around a uh, um, uh, you know, in houses, get gold and uh, items and um, their chests. If you have a thief, you can pick them. Uh, yeah, it, it, it's it's kind of fun. Um, kind of pointless, but. Uh, Yeah, so, um, potion of healing, yay. Um, so, you know, this is, this is the game. Um, there isn't a whole lot else to it. Uh, oh, stepped on teleporter trap. There's something I can get that I'll, will allow me to see the, uh, teleport, oh, well, yeah, and if you've stepped on one, you'll see it. I guess I'm going to run out of time. You failed to open the lock. Oh well. Oh, there are guards in. Okay, so that's another thing is that you gotta um, find the uh, actual exit to these little maps in the time uh, remaining. Ooh, I cleverly avoided a dark trap. There's just some guy sitting there, that apparently. Oh, the exit can now be found, wherever it is. You found a lever to reveal floor traps, yay! And apparently there are people sitting around while I'm robbing the place. And there are just random treasure chests sitting around. Yeah, it's really, really quite a silly game. Ooh. I think it's time to find the exit. Oh, the guards have been stunned. Boy, I don't remember this game very well at all. There's a lot of people just sitting around. Yeah, I'm gonna get... I'm gonna run out of time, I'm pretty sure. I don't, I don't think I'm gonna find the exit. Wherever it is. Uh oh, the guards are no longer stunned. Oops. Oh. Yeah, I'm Warren, he is a knight you should fear. I think this guy's gonna kick my butt. Oh, there we go. Got him once. Yay, I got, took care of him. So anyway, I'm going to uh, um, pause the video, end the video here.